This video is going to walk you through the setup for the Nevo slider and alternative methods for using slide content on the home page or any locations that you require it throughout the entire system here. So as you're logged in as administrator, you have access to the administrative bar. So I'm going to go to structure, Nevo slider, and I'm going to walk you through this process. So we have these two image slides in here. Well, how we did that was all we did was came up here, chose a file. Once we had that set up in here, came down here, press save. Once you hit save, any amount of images that you put in here are going to show up here. You can use the top part of this for publishing them or deleting them. So if you don't want one published and you want to save it for later or keep it up there for another time, all you have to do is deselect on publish. Or if you wanted to delete it, all you have to do is hit delete. Regardless, any change that you make there, all you have to do is come down to the bottom and hit save. Now one of the main reasons why you're having to see me scroll all the way to the right it's because I didn't apply any particular styles to these images and I want them 100% across the entire browser. You can obviously change that with any type of formatting that you want. So that's how you control what shows and how to delete. Now what we have the ability to do is we have the ability to put certain things on top of these slides as they're sliding across where you can basically create you know, additional call to actions on top of that particular image. For example, if I wanted to put some text in here, all I'd have to do is type in here, come down here, hit save. But here's what happens with that. Since we have this set as a 100% slider across the entire screen, as I move to the next slide, what you're going to end up seeing is that's going to continuously stick to the left over here outside of the confines of the actual container that we use for the entire rest of the site's content, which is an easy fix. So what I can do is I can come back down into that particular slide and I can put this text inside of a container. And of course, what we're doing is we're making use of Bootstrap's container here. So now if I come in here with text format set to full HTML and hit save, you'll see the kind of adjustment that takes place once we get on this slide. And I'll go ahead and open this up so you can see it. So now you see this text set up over here. Well, what we've done now is we've actually put it inside of a container. So as I refresh this page, you'll see that that container keeps it in the confines of the rest of the content. Very simple to use. So at the same time of uh, using the actual uh, bootstrap elements that we have access to, what that means is, is that we have the ability to put this in columns in any style that we want. So we can say div class. Let's say that I wanted to create a column that was 50% across the entire site. If you're familiar with bootstrap, this will come easy to you. So what this is, is a 50% column. So if I want to have this equation equal 12 here, because a 12 column grid, all I need to do is just paste another column down here, and we can see what this does. I can say, you know, in H3, I'm going to say uh, left column. And if I wanted to add the uh, small in here, I can put uh, content on left and close those tags out. Of course, what I'll do is I'll go ahead and copy that. I'll come down here to the right column. Let me open this a little bit. We can kind of see what I'm doing. And then down here, I can go back to right column. We'll just call this content on the right. Now, if I hit save, we'll see a dramatic appearance change inside of this particular slide once I refresh the page. As you can see, we have heading content. And again, you are able to put buttons such as this inside of that content. Let me go ahead and break this back down to the confines of what it should be. And of course, you can uh, align center and then create one big column or just one big row in there and, and set up whatever type of button content or anything that you want to show up inside of this gray overlay. And by the way, this gray overlay is configurable to change, and it's very easy, easily found inside of our CSS. So that's just one option that we have. Uh, we, of course, want to be able to promote other items that you can make use with this particular Drupal theme. And one of the things that we have in motion set up in the back end right now is the MD slider. Now you'll understand MD slider if you look at the documentation. We give you access to it. Uh, we can't actually sell it because we don't have it set as a license, but we wanted to promote the fact that you can use a layer slider of any type, not just MD slider, but any type, and uh, incorporate it into this theme. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and show you a quick example of that. So I'm going to come into the block section, and in our block layout, you can see that we have our Nevo slider set up here. Well, I'm just going to set this to none, come back down to the bottom. I'm going to grab the MD slider, put that one in motion. I'm just going to choose banner down here. And all I have to do is hit save. Once I put that in play here and if this is saved, you'll see a drastic change on the site. So if I close out of the blocks overlay, 
You'll see that we have a layered slider that's fully animated, full controls and everything. So you can incorporate this in. You know, all we've done is we put this uh, slider section in here is just 100%. And of course, if you need to put that in container to do your own formatting to where it's just, you know, in the confines of the container, you can also do that. It's very easily adjusted. So that's just an example of the uh, Nevo slider and showing you that you can basically attach any type of slider in here that you're familiar with working with.